Hey guys, Jeff Dickinson here. Today I'm showing you my two volume set of the complete art of Ralph McQuarrie. Um, this was released in 2016 for about 250 bucks. I didn't pay that because I couldn't afford it 250, but it finally went down to about 200 is when I scored it. Um, not sure if you can still find it, um, but you could check on Amazon or your bookstores. But it's a really cool collective work if you're into Star Wars and all the coolness that Ralph McQuarrie uh, gave to the concept of George Lucas' uh, inspiration from his mind and what became, as we know today, as Star Wars. Uh, it's a real nice, thick box. It's got this uh, kind of like a velvet coating to it. Collects dust really, really bad. So I had to take some uh, tape and try to, you know, clean it up a little bit because dust settled in. And it was in a box. It was sealed. So it just it's a magnet for dust. Uh, here's the back end of it. Let me go in here a little bit for you that you read it it's really cool it's really worth the money if if you are a collector of Star Wars and of course Disney released it with Lucas Abrams once again is the publisher so what I'm gonna do here is open up well pull out the books here and show you a little bit about it hang tight this thing weighs a ton, uh, about 25 pounds. Here's what the inside looks a little bit. Really thick cardboard. Uh, so we'll put this away. There's nothing on the back. And here are the two books. One's got Darth Vader on it. This is going to be volume one. And you got the battle scene from Empire on two. So, put this away, and we'll start with the other one. Hang tight. All right. These things literally weigh about 10 pounds, if not more, each. So, let's open this up here. Like I said, I'm not going to go through the whole book, but I'll give you a little idea of it. And what's cool is these storyboards are huge. Let me back up a little bit here here's your table of contents starts off with Star Wars Empire and here's old George Lucas he does a nice little forward here kind of goes slow here so you could pause and read it if you wish And of course he signed it. He did this in 2015. And that's what it said there about the picture. Here's old Ralph and George. And gives you a little introduction. Which I'm not going to go into. But I will show you some of the drawings here. And what was cool about this book is it's put together from the archives of Lucas. All this is sitting there, and what he did here was, uh, I'll show you what it talks about there. And he talks a little bit about, you know, before stars, what he was doing and all that. Some of his concept art, for, I believe for the military. We're going to dive in here to Star Wars. And here's a sketch of Darth Vader. That's so cool. I'll do this first video here of book one. and We'll do a part two for book two. It talks a little bit about the concept artwork. I can go through the whole thing, but we're going to just kind of... I just like the early concept stuff. Working out, 
would be C3PO. R2D2. I'm sure glad they finally released this. There was not a area that had all of Ralph's stuff in one area. And as you can see here, it's actual photographs of the actual picture of the drawings. So let's go into a little bit about Darth Vader because everybody loves Darth Vader, or at least I do. I was intrigued by him. When they were, he was first doing the concept artwork. And there's a bigger version. This book is really, really cool. It's got like shows the artwork and then there's like bigger pictures of the artwork so gives you some good close-ups and some of the stuff he was drawing on Star Wars seems to wind up in Empire's Cloud City there's this concept for the TIE Fighters of course this is going to be concept work for Death Star and if you are a um, big time nerd about Star Wars like I am, man, this is this is something to get for that very big ass Star Wars fan. And he is designing not only the characters, but you know this cities and some of the scenes and some of the stuff he was drawing blows my mind I'm like wow that was not really what it came out to be but kind of cool he gives you some of that concept thoughts of what he was doing I'm not going to go through the each and every page but I want to give you a feel of the book here. Sandcrawler, how he was developing it. I think it's kind of cool. Birth of Chewbacca. Some of the concept art they were using for some of the um, conventions when they started talking about Star Wars coming out. wound up being as the poster work when he first started talking about Star Wars coming out. So I think that was kind of cool. Ralph was always there at the beginning with George. He would describe it. Ralph would draw it up. What I learned through so many uh, behind the scenes stuff over the years, there's that poster I was telling you about. Dirty concept of Star Wars. Luke was a chick at one point, or maybe not. I think Han had. It. I think this is supposed to be Han. It's supposed to be Luke's character developed early. Um, here's some more. I'm trying to go as, not too fast, but not too slow. Look at the ships here. And it's cool they got pictures of the models. So, you got their early concept work and then you got the uh, models that the models maker made based upon his sketches. And they even have the blueprints. I 
I don't know if you remember them releasing a few blueprints. But yeah, they were doing blueprints of the ships and stuff. Cantina scene, I believe, uh, was in that pack. R2D2. Stuff like that. I have that somewhere in a box. Yeah, I collected Star Wars at a very early age. When it first came out, I remember going. And it's a picture of. It's supposed to be the Millennium Falcon. There's an early sketch of it. But the only thing they kept was that. They said it looked too much like the Space 1999 ship. Didn't want to get those people riled up. So they redid it. Of course, if you guys who watched some of the special features and the behind the scenes over the years, they talked about that. Yeah, it's supposed to be Luke Skywalker and and they changed it from a female character to a male character for whatever reason maybe Ralph understood the character being female George wanted man I'm not even sure I'm not even gonna go go into it because I don't know <laughs> and here's some uh, artwork Star Wars logos the early concept logos Pretty much, you kind of get the idea. Here's a little Mark Hamill behind the camera. All right, costumes. It says the costume designs. Here's a little note. And of course, what Darth Vader wanted it developing to be. So, I'm not going to go through all this and RTD2 and all that. Let's move along. Let's see here. Okay. This looks interesting here. I didn't have this all mapped out for you guys. I apologize. This is the matte paintings. You know, when I saw Star Wars and... Uh, Start watching the very first behind the scenes. Didn't know that a lot of the scenes were made with matte painting. Especially the detail of the Death Star. Inside the Death Star, you know. Luke and Leia were crossing that bridge. And of course the intro of the movie. There's a Millennium Falcon flying up to the matte painting. I think it's kind of cool that Ralph did the artwork so well. And when they blend in, there's a shot with the matte painting. You, you can't tell. And then here's the actual matte painting. That's cool that they do this. As they give you the full view of it. Well, secrets behind the scenes. That's why I dig. And of course here's that matte painting and then the Millennium Falcon. More concept art for the Death Star. A lot of work was put in this.
some little tricks and stuff they did. I love this. Talking a little bit about the Death Star and mall making. And of course, here's the concept art for the trench run. Ralph did everything, man. There's that matte painting right there, and there's that scene. It's amazing. When you watch the movie, you don't think it's a matte painting. There's Ralph doing his work. All right. Let's thumb through some of this stuff here. I enjoy this whole book. They even talk about the holiday special. <laughs> and Ralph did the artwork for the holiday special. Imagine that. All right. Star Wars birthday posters. I mean, he had a hand in everything. All right. Diving in here to Empire. See here, and trying to give you the whole aspect. It's in person, very, very impressive. You know, I am uh, at all, you know, while it's going this originally. There's Dagobah. Once again, he's doing all that concept art. If it wasn't for Ralph and his imagination with George Lucas and his imagination putting those two together, Lord knows what we have gotten. Of course, Yoda. And they had flying fish. They were working on that during the Empire. And I believe they incorporate that through uh, the Phantom Menace. I'm not a big prequels fan. I do uh, have them because of that box set I got that's Blu ray. I own the originals, the originals um, on DVD and laser disc. And when the uh, fan miss and the uh, I can't Clone Wars and then the Revenge of the Jedi, I believe it's called the third one. Uh, I did dig the uh, third one, seeing how Darth Vader became Darth Vader, but that's the only reason. Uh, I really care less about Darth Vader's little childhood stories. I was more interested in how he wound up being the choker with the force. More concept artwork for Yoda. Huh. Please forgive me if I'm going too fast for some of you guys. I just want to give you an idea of the book. There you go. That's cool.
We all know what happens here. And of course, another matte painting to be used. So basically, if you want to know where some of this originated for some of your famous scenes of the original trilogy, get this book. Um, like I said, I'm not sure how much it's going for these days. It came out four years ago. Um, always go to your bookstore ask them uh, Amazon of course here can be another one they uh, made a digital version of this but you know what that's just in bad taste I think because this needs to be appreciated in the book but maybe I'm just old school maybe it's a me thing C-3PO, he had better days after Cloud City. <laughs> Let's see here. Concept of artwork of him going to be frozen in carbonite. Here's some Vader flame logos. Some of these you may have seen, you may not. I think they're cool. They made patches based upon that and they wore them. There you go. On their jackets when you're filming Empire. I thought that was kind of cool. A little tidbit. See? Kind of cool, kind of cool. So Ralph is not only doing concept work for movie, but for other things too. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here and we'll pick up on part two with volume two. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and uh, We'll catch you on the next video. Layers.